Today's a very special day. Yes, it is. It's a very special day. First and foremost, it's our anniversary. Our first date happened June 13th of 2019. Now, today is June 13th, 2020. Mm -hmm. And not only is it our anniversary, but it's the day we're getting married. <laughs> I don't know how I decided to take over this entire thing. I like that you did. But I did, and I'm so happy. So as you can see how we are dressed up right now, um, I'm about to marry the love of my life. Me too, me too. So today we're eloping, and we thought we would hop on and share the experience and kind of explain what the heck's going on. As you guys know, of course, with coronavirus, we had to postpone our wedding uh, till 2021 and now we're getting married on June 13th 2021 mm -hmm. a year from today so this will always be a really special date exactly. our first date today our uh, technical wedding day and next year is when we actually like do our big wedding we do our big thing yeah. that we wanted to do in October I feel like this is the right decision Me and too. it just feels right uh, we still wanted to really get married this year and we've seen a lot of other couples actually do this who had to postpone their wedding because of Corona So they still like eloped and had their own little thing this year and then have their big wedding celebration next year So in one year today, we'll be having our big wedding celebration with all of our loved ones But today Yara and I alone are gonna go and get married we're meeting the town hall officiant at our local park. Yep. Just us and um Yeah, it this this definitely was not in the plans whatsoever. No. You know, February 29th when I actually proposed to you. Yep. Um I I didn't see this coming, you know. No. It, it's just crazy how quickly things change and yeah. you know yeah. and yeah, we still wanted to get married quote unquote on, in 2020 yeah and then i feel like it's gonna make this day very special because next year um it's gonna be another celebration hopefully this is all over what's going on in the world yeah. the world gets back to normal and we'll be able to you know celebrate and have that really be a celebration because yeah. we really didn't want to hold the wedding where people had um masks on because that's not safe. that it didn't feel safe we didn't want to make anyone else feel uncomfortable yeah. and that's Travel. not that's not the environment we want in our wedding we want you know when two families are joining together to be happy and cheerful and yeah. not social distancing or anything like that so yeah. we felt like this was the right decision and we are completely happy with it yes. and I'm super excited I'm nervous I'm anxious Same. but um, <laughs> Let's go get married okay. and yeah. We're filming this like right before right before we're leaving to go to the park. Yep. Um, so. so we'll record some of it so you guys can see. Yeah. And then afterwards we're actually going so our original plan before all of this was for our anniversary, we were gonna like reenact our first date mm -hmm. today and go out to the restaurant that we had our first date, go to the bar after that we went to, but the bar is not open. The restaurant is open for outdoor seating, so we're so excited we can actually go eat out at a restaurant for the first time and reenact our first date, kind of, like we yeah. planned, and celebrate our marriage. Wow. Let's go get married. I think in like less than two hours, I'll be calling you wife. And I'll be calling you husband. Woo! Let's Mrs. do it. Rodriguez. Okay, um... Let's get married. From this day forward, and to stay for to have and to hold, to have and to hold, or richer or poorer, or richer or poorer, in sickness or in health. In sickness and health. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. Let me know very happily when I'm to husband and wife, you may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs>
say this for life with you, Papa. Thank you. <laughs> Guess who's mother f married? Uh, 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 uh. Put a nice beat on that. Put, Show him the put rings, put baby. Put put um, yes. Yo, um, feels good to have a ring. If you look so cute with your ring on, like so cute. We'll link yours ring down below if you guys are looking for a good. It's dope. It's I am into so it's made out of forged carbon fiber, and I am a huge motorsports fan. Well, Formula One fan. And it's an exotic material, and it's nice that they make those in men wedding bands. And it's like super lightweight, so it's yeah, really, it's so, really comfortable. It's so lightweight, it's not even heavy, it's super strong. Like, does it even feel like, like you have it on? I did my research on this one. You really did. You really did. It feels really good. Yay. Yay. Oh my gosh. So, so now we're at the drive thru getting some food. That's your couple, bro. We gotta get some food. We're starving. That's your it's um it, and our ceremony was an hour ago. It was really really nice. It was short and sweet and perfect. Um, then we took pictures and our plan for the day is now. I think I already told you guys we're gonna go and eat at the restaurant we went to our first date at, but that's not gonna be until dinner time, which is why we're getting some lunch now. Yep. But we're gonna go visit Mama Fearless because she lives near the restaurant and hang out with her. Just take some pictures with her and hang out. Mama Fearless in law. Mama, yes. Mama fearless in law. I love it. So, I'm starving. I'm gonna try not to spill on my wedding dress. Is the camera on? Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> she's ready. Right. Uh, little Miss Muffet here, and little Mr. Muffet here. <laughs> <laughs> they just got married. They just oh, came good. to tell me about it. Honestly, they look stunning together. <laughs> they look happy together. I couldn't be happier because I adore Yarmin. Yarmin's going to have like an A plus for like husbandry. He's such a good husband I already. I for taking care of business. That's from an Aretha Franklin song in case any of you are like didn't know that. He's TCB. If there's something going on, he gets it done. But anyway, he takes care of business. They're glowing. They're an amazing couple. I couldn't be happier for them. Yay. I can't wait for the future. I know what you're thinking about. Babies. Babies. No, I've babies for a couple of years. You want us to enjoy I our marriage. Like, I, it's not even about you two. It's about me. <laughs> I just want to hold on to you for a little while longer. Yeah. Because once the baby comes, it will change everything. Definitely in a good way, but mm -hmm. like, I just want to be a little selfish with you for a while. I hear ya. Alright guys, so, we, well, I changed. What's up, wifey? <laughs> What's up, hubby? How you doing? It's so weird. How you doing? It's so weird. I am a wife. I have I'm a husband. A husband. <laughs> That's so weird. So we just hung out with my mom, and we went in the back alley of her apartment. There's like a really pretty rose bush, so we took pics. Check out our Instagrams if you want to see them. I'm wearing this dress I featured in a haul like a month or two ago, but um, we just hung out with Mama Fearless for a bit. She is so excited for us. And now um, we're gonna head over to our restaurant. Yeah. And hopefully the wait's not too long. It's 3.40. Uh, today's like, well this weekend is basically the first weekend they're doing patio service to eat outside. So, and it's a beautiful day. We're kind of expecting a long wait, but you know, it's our anniversary, wedding day, and the restaurant we really want to eat at for memories, so we're willing to wait. So let's go, let's go see. Now, it might be a little windy. We are just hanging out in Seaport in Boston by the harbor on the water. We just took a little walk, um, killing some time because the wait is pretty long for Lolita's, is that's where we're eating. Um, so, we put our name in at a different restaurant as well. Cause yeah, just a backup. Just because a backup, like, cause she said it could be like hours. And, and they only had like a few tables. And we ain't trying to eat at eight. No, we're, right now we're hungry. What time is it? 4.43. Yeah. So. so, I'm actually just starting to get hungry now. Me too. I'm parched too. I want some guac and chips. Ooh. Some quesadillas. <sighs> the other place we put our name in at is also Mexican food, some so. Tacos. Yeah. We don't know which one. We have both waitlisted on our phones. Some rice, refried beans. Got an asada. Stop getting me all hungry. <laughs> I'm salivating. Baby. I was just going to say that word. I was just <laughs> going to say salivating. We're finally eating. Let's try this guac. Oh, it's very good. 
Who else is obsessed with street corn? No one. Yum. All right, guys, we just had dinner, and now we are getting some ice cream at this place that Yar wanted to try. I don't even know how you pronounce it. Tayaki. Tayaki, NYC. Uh, there's a really long line, so it must be good. Big ass Japanese ice cream. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit on a fish cone that's soft, looking like a biscuit. Always like <laughs> dropping off on ice cream. Like who puts soft serve on a t tiny ass cone? A warm fish cone. A warm fish cone that doesn't able to hold the ice cream well. Huh? What type of ice cream is that? What type of ice cream? Bubba, $16. Bubba, Bubba, 16 dollars. Bubba, sixteen. Bubba, update them. All right, here's What's the update. So What's the tea? What's the tea? My sweet husband, because I can call him that now, went to go get us the car because we walked kind of far to the ice cream place and it was getting very, very chilly. He's like, why don't I go get the car? Well, I'm, I was waiting in line to get the ice cream. You know, I was just trying to be a good husband. I'm like, you, you know what, Bubba? You don't deserve to walk right now. Your feet probably hurt. They do. You don't have good shoes. They, uh, yep. Let me go get the car for you, you know? Correct. Correct. It's my turn to get up to get the ice cream. And this place, it's like, it's, it, they call it Japanese ice cream. And I didn't really know what it was. It, it, it's, it came in this cone. The cone looked like a fish like this. <laughs> and then the ice cream was coming out of it. But the fish was like flat, like a real fish, like, like a skinny taco fish. So the ice cream is, it's literally just soft serve ice cream. I'm just saying they're eight dollars a cone. They're eight dollars a cone. And this fish thing, this fish cone was warm. It was a warm fish cone, like kind of like a biscuit cone. Like a, no, like a waffle texture, right? Not a, not a waffle cone, a real waffle. So I get my two, um, I walk outside, and I had called Yara before I went in. I'm like, should I let someone go ahead of me? Are you almost here? And he's like, I'll be there in 10 minutes. I timed it out. When I stepped out of there, it was like six minutes. I'm like, all right, I can stand here with this ice cream for four minutes. It's not that long. Oh, really? Were you waiting there for four minutes? Yes. Wow. Well, you didn't know that it was going to like just well, do I didn't what it know. did. Well, because it was pretty, ch it's pretty chilly out now. I didn't think it was like hot summer, let's melt. The thing is, these fish cones are warm. So I'm standing there and the ice cream starts to melt. And between that and like the skinny cone with like a big thing of soft serve on top, at the same, no, 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 actually not the same time. The one on my left hand fell first. The left hand, the top of all that ice cream falls off goes down my leg, ice cream everywhere on my phone. And then, because that one was such a mess and I had to clean it, I, the other one, because I immediately, my reaction was to like use my right hand to fix it, that one fell off as well. So. So no ice cream for us. No ice cream. I'm, I'm gonna say, uh, you know, but it is what it is, not the and, end of the world. And then like, I drive up and I'm like, huh. <laughs> He just sees like I just a see pile no of ice, ice cream. cream. And like, we were like 30 feet apart. Like I'm driving up to like the ice cream place and I lock eyes with her. And then he she's goes, just like, and I'm like, what's up? What's wrong? And all I see is like a mad face. And you're like, look, 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 like look what's wrong. I'm like, you didn't drop the ice cream. You did not drop the ice cream. The ice cream you melted dropped, and fell out. You know, and then like, I put down the wood and I'm like, Baba, is everything okay? You know, because I'm just, we just, we are newlyweds right now and I'm just trying to be respectful. I'm not trying to get into a fight or anything. Like, I'm not trying to get into a fight. Uh, so then, I rolled down the wood and I'm like, Baba, you okay? Is everything fine? And I come over, and, and, all huffing and puffing, like, the ice cream <laughs> melted and fell off the cone. And then you started bashing. Ice cream place. Because man. all it you is. You fish holding biscuit, ice cream falling, putting soft serve, well ass soft serve. We can just go to Ben Jerry's. Like, <laughs> like, what is this? Fish can't even hold the ice cream. Like, it's not even a real cone. It's warm. Like, <laughs> it probably would have been so delicious too, but like, it was, it's, ugh. I'm just very upset. But my hands are sticky, my body is sticky. But you know what? Yar has another story to tell you. What happened to you in your ring earlier? Oh, that's another story. Yeah. So we were walking around um, Seaport, mm -hmm. right, in Boston. And we walked around for like a mile and a half or whatnot, right? Yeah. And then we decided to take a break. So there's like, we took a break by the harbor where there's like some nice bleachers, some newly constructed uh, harbor walk and the harbor way or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we took a break there to look out in the water and to see like, you know, just relax for a little bit, right? Yeah. And then like me being a, a, a newly wedded husband or whatever, like I started, I like start playing with my wedding band. I'm like, oh, this is super cool. He's like, not used to having yeah, a ring on. I'm not used to ha for for it to be on my finger or whatnot. So 
then I keep playing around with it and I drop the damn thing. And you know how in harbor walks there's like these planks that like line yeah, all the just like wood planks on the yeah. ground. It was like a centimeter away from falling within one of those cracks. And like we were up on bleachers, oh, so it would have gone boy. down under like where you can't get access to. He almost lost his ring on nope. the wedding day, nope. but he didn't. Nope. And we have another story. So the whole point of this thing oh, yeah. was to uh, re uh, reenact, I guess, our or, first or, or redo our first date. Yep. You know, which fell on June thirteenth, which is fell on June thirteenth, twenty nineteen, and now we're in June thirteenth, twenty twenty. Yep. And um, we go up to the place where we had our first date, which was Lolita's, and it was like a outdoor patio. Like they weren't even taking names. No, she told us that they weren't taking names. But she let us put our name down and said it would be like at least an hour and a half. Mind you, from this time, right now, we have not gotten a text. It's been three hours. Yeah, it's, it's almost seven right now. So when we got called for that other restaurant we did as our backup, we were hungry at that point. We're like, let's just eat here. And also, Lolita's, the, the music was really loud and we wanted to like exchange, exchange some private vows and like really be able to intimately chat. So it worked out, like no regrets, but... Um, Lolita still hasn't texted us. Yeah, I don't think we would have gotten until like eight o'clock, uh, like you guessed. Exactly. So it worked um, out. The food was good. No shade on Lolita's though. If you're ever in Boston, I highly recommend. Yeah, we'll go back when like the world's a little more normal. But that's our story. But you know what? Like Yard just said before we were on camera, he was like, a few things went wrong, but at least we're. <laughs> a lot of things went wrong, but at least we're married. Yep. Yeah. So uh, we think we're gonna hit up McDonald's on the way home yeah, and no, get Sundays or yeah, we still want ice cream. I mean, damn, it's our wedding day. We need some ice yeah. cream. Well, this is what it comes down to: no regrets. No regrets. Well, one regret. They don't have peanuts. They don't have peanuts. Dang. Like I just can't get it right. Like I just don't know what it is. I mean, you know, like they have the nut packets that they sometimes give you two, and I like two. I like two <laughs> nut packets on my hot fudge Sunday. So we just got home. I don't know who did this, but somebody put up a little just married sign with flowers. Oh my god, so cute. I Yo, swoon. People are so nice. I want to know who did this. How are we going to find out who did this? I don't know. I know. Oh my god. There's only one person who could have yeah, done like, this. Who has keys to the house? My mother. <laughs> who, who has keys to the house? Cause like she must have come when wow. we were getting married. Cause then we met her in Boston. Yeah, that's her handwriting. Oh, this is so cute. This is why our dessert failed. Because there's dessert here. Oh my god. God. Yo, yo, we were. In tell them. Tell them we what happened the with the ice cream. Tell them what happened with the freaking ice cream. What happened with the ice cream? Yeah, but the fact that yours didn't have nuts and mine wasn't mixed. Oh, I thought you were talking about when it dropped. Okay, no. So we went to McDonald's, right? And I wanted a hot foot Sunday. At least let's get some ice cream, right? Yeah. And then we pull up the drive through and I'm like, and we ordered ice cream. You got a McFlurry, I got a hot foot Sunday. Yeah. Usually hot foot Sunday has hot fudge. Yeah. There was no hot fudge. It was like syrup that was cold. Yeah. And ice gross. cream. And then I asked her for nuts and she's like, no, yeah, we don't have that. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to let this ruin my day. It's probably happening for a reason. God probably has its reasons why. Yeah. And it's because of oh, this. Oh, it says Alex and Yar. That's pretty. No wonder That's really why. pretty. And then she got little flowers. Oh. Wow. And then she got us this card. Um, That's wow. a pretty That's cake. Beautiful. She did good with the flowers. That is That's so stunning. Stunning. Wow. Just married. Okay, I'll read y'all my mom's card. If it's too personal, I'll just crop this out. Dear Alexandra and Yarman, I don't even know where to begin. Your love story is so unusual and amazing. It's a little hard to believe, but Alexandra, you persisted and didn't give up and didn't settle, and look what that brought you. Yarman, I'm so proud to call you my son-in-law and feel extremely blessed that you are Alexandra's husband. I know that you'll always be there to protect and provide for her. Congratulations to you both. Your future is waiting. And then the <laughs> Yes. Why do I feel like I'm going to cry? That was the like so hearts. cute. The three hearts. Aww. We got to call her. Yes. This was such an amazing her. surprise to come her. home to. You know, when we thought nothing was going right for us except for this marriage, <laughs> this really just topped it off. Yeah. This was the cherry on top. This was the cherry on top. Wow. Aw, thanks, Thank Mama you. Fearless. I love, her. I love her too. It's amazing. Mm.
We saved the best dessert for last. Yeah, we have to have this moment right now. Let's get these pretty flowers in here. This is so pretty with all these really flowers. Pretty. Like I swoon. It smells good. I know it smells like flowers. Yeah. Yo, so flowers good. are in season, man. I know, like, we smelled a real rose today. today. And I'm not even into flowers, but that. You're supposed to take it in your hand. Am I? Like, we're supposed to do this, and we wrap arms around each other. Oh, really? Okay. Wait. <laughs> I cut a big-ass piece, though. That's really big. How's that? Yeah. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can. Ready? I back it up. Is it fast <laughs> Is it enough? enough? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, you're an ass. Put me back. You have to... <laughs> so that's what you do, huh? I told you at our real wedding next year, you can't do that, so we had to do it once. <laughs> no wonder you were hesitating, like, yo, you want cake or you don't want cake? Do you want cake or do you not want cake? <laughs> what do you want? I kept thinking to myself, do I want to do this? But it's the end of the day. This is delicious. It is it's really good. <laughs> do you want cake or do you not want cake? So that's our day. I want the cake. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I think this is a good place to wrap it up for the day. Um, today Thank was a fairy tale. Thank you guys for watching. And all the love we've received on Instagram has been so nice. It's like, this is the best wedding given the circumstances. Or wedding or what? The best day. I mean, it was a wedding. It was an elopement. Um, but we're yeah, married. Yeah. We're married. I couldn't ask for a better day. Me too. It was perfect. And in one year today, we'll be having our real celebration with all of our loved ones. And it'll Can't be so much that. fun. So, Dude. My ring has cake all over it. I mean, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that over... Damn. So I do want to say this. Now, even though we're married, this is the start of all the fun wedding contacts. Now we are on the road to the wedding. It's one year from today. Mm -hmm. And we're still treating that like our full wedding since this was an elopement. Yeah. And we're still having like our full official wedding celebration next year. So we're going to be dress shopping. We're going to have... You know, a bridal party or a bridal shower, bachelorette party, all that fun stuff. Oh. Um, you know, catering, all that stuff. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it because it's going to be a journey over this next year planning our official wedding. wedding. Yeah. It's going to be a lot step of Step by step. Step you know? by step. There's a and lot. And hopefully by next year everything's right and we can treat this as a celebration. Thank you guys for watching and the support. <laughs> Stop putting it in my nose. Oh. It's in there. What do we do? Well, you take a piece of napkin. And no, you... because it's going to push it up oh. further. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate every single one of you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>